When it comes to the user experience, there are a lot of little design features that can make a big difference, especially when combined with subtle animations. Here's an example of a micro interaction from Val Head, design advocate at Adobe and author of Designing Interface Animation. She says that animation can help make these little moments more expressive and effective, which is why animated micro interactions are so common. The animation you see when you like a tweet marks that moment as a mini celebration with a growing heart and dot confetti. Since micro interactions are so small, they also lend themselves to componentization in a design system or UI library. So let's look at an example. In this document, similar to the Twitter icon, when a user interacts with this heart, you can see the animation. Now this is done with the default state and a new state along with an interaction in prototype mode. So here are the pieces that'll be used to create this micro interaction. A heart on top of a series of dots behind. To start, select all the artwork and make it a component by pressing Command and K on Mac OS or Control and K on Windows. Now we're gonna define a new state. So click the plus here over in the property inspector and choose new state so we can add our own interaction to this state. Change the name if you want. And now we'll change the appearance of the state. So with the new state selected, double click the heart to select it. In the assets panel, you can change the fill to this red color if you want to. Now we're gonna adjust those little dots behind the heart. So select all of the content and to deselect the heart, shift click it. Resize the selected content while pressing shift and alt so it resizes from the center. Then change the opacity to zero so it'll fade out. Okay, with the states defined, let's create a micro interaction when a user interacts with it. So go into prototype mode. Click in a blank area to deselect and then click back on the heart so you select the whole component. In the panel on the right, select the default state. Click to set an interaction of tap. Make sure that auto animate is set so that it'll animate between the states. You can then target a state, the one you named, rather than an artboard, and go into the preview window and test it out. There you go. You can define multiple interactions for the same component state. For example, with this heart, you can assign another interaction for your new state if you wanted to. You can see up here the interaction section displaying the defined interactions. Go back to design mode and change the appearance between the states. Come back over to prototype mode, toggle between those interactions, and you can modify the interaction properties to fit your needs.